I'm David Mullins and I want to share one of the most important things that I've ever learned from Jamaican Canadian billionaire Michael Leachin and it's about compound effort. Back in June 2019, I got a chance to sit with Mike for an hour. This was on a Tuesday. My wife had given me an ultimatum about making sure that we had to raise the money to get Blue Mall Capital going properly or I would get a, a full-time job by the end of that summer. And I made a call that I had resisted making for years. I needed to sit down and talk with Mike. So I'm sitting in Jamaica in his office at the atrium, asking him for a bunch of different things. He was very giving and finally said, is there anything else that you want to ask me? So left, you know, more than 15 minutes left in his one hour meeting. And I asked him uh, for some advice related to my marriage. Funny enough, I said, I studied five billionaires, two of them ended up divorced, one ended up you know, separated and then the fifth one uh, was still married to the same person all those years and a billionaire how could i end up being like that one and not like the rest and he jumped up excited <laughs> and he ran behind his desk got this piece of paper came back to me and then asked me according to albert einstein what is the eighth one of the world and i told him compound interest and he said great now let me teach you about compound effort so we're going to talk about compound effort and, and the exact same graph that Mike drew for me, uh, I want to draw for you. So a lot of us think that when you talk about effort versus time, right? I'm going to put out this amount of effort over this much time. Here's what's, what is going to be. So let's, let's draw that X and Y axis. Right? We have time and we have effort. Most of us think that X equal Y. The time and effort are perfectly together. So that means the line is just up and to the right. But unfortunately, that's not actually true. Right? That's, that's not how it works. <laughs> not even close. What you want to focus on is the fact that it is exponential growth. Everything grows exponentially. Now, what does he mean by that? Let's think one year into your startup or your career or your relationship whatever it is we are we're one year in so this is one year right here you think you are going to be here instinctively you're thinking up and to the right i'm putting out this effort over this time so this is where i'm going to be but you're not really there right this is perception you're actually here and so mike asked me what's the difference between perception and reality what do i actually feel right now how am i feeling I said, man, I'm feeling very frustrated. And he said, yes, F, that's frustration. But you're going to push through that frustration, right? I said, yeah, I just started. I'm going to push through. He said, great. So you push through that frustration. You eventually get to year five. You feel that you should be here. All your friends and family are around you saying, man, you've been in the news, in the paper. You've been working this for so long. Why are you not here? Are you really down here, right? The difference between perception and reality. He said at that point is more frustration. MF. Everybody's around you asking you why are you going to keep doing this? Most people at that point of most frustration quit. They quit and they start over. And then they keep doing that every five years until they're 65 years old looking back at their life. And they're wondering, what did I do with my life? Where did my time go? The key thing is that when you're most frustrated is when you actually need to push through, right? Because that is when you go on the other side and it gets easier. Compound effort. You don't want to interrupt that. The interesting thing, though, is that Mike was saying it works in the opposite direction, right? If you're focusing on the wrong thing, so you go further down now, you're focusing on the wrong thing. So I decided, you know what? I'm doing the wrong thing. You think you're going to get caught, but you don't get caught. So you're right here. You don't get caught. You do it one more time. You do it again, you don't get caught. What happens when you do it the third time? You end up in jail, right? You've been focusing on the wrong thing. Fall off the cliff. So compound effort is about focusing on the right thing and pushing through more frustration. I had to ask Mike, wow, this is incredible. I love this advice for our business. What does this have to do with my marriage? <laughs> and he says, well, right now you're most frustrated with your wife. Do you want to keep starting over or are you going to push through? Wow. Wow. Thank you, Mike. So that is my advice to you. 
compound effort focus on the right thing. I hope that I've exceeded your expectations and this will help you in your own life and your journey. Thank you.